And I'm immediately back, folks. It's like I never left. Uh, welcome back to part five. What if Goku had a sister? So last time on the Dragon Ball Z, what if? What if Goku had a sister? Reddit, Goji, Reddit, Maze, and Goku had all been training for the Saiyan's arrival. And they pretty much beat the ever-loving crap out of Vegeta and Nappa. Now, I don't... Something made a mention wasn't, did Nappa survive? I actually... I may have forgotten to bring that up, but I do think Nappa is dead. And Vegeta is the only one left. Vegeta is it was allowed to get away. Raz was pretty much the one who single-handedly kicked their ass, um, and he did remove his tail. So yeah, uh, so we basically cut back to now what's happening afterwards. How uh, someone said, "How are you going to do the Namek arc?" Well, here's the thing. And did so, Piccolo being a Namekian wasn't addressed? Piccolo again is the re uh, the. Um, just to revisit where we are with Piccolo, he's still pretty much a jerk. He's not, like, day by day, week by week, all that stuff, he's not as bad as he was. Like, he doesn't want, really, to take over the world at this point, but he still doesn't like anyone that much. Um, and But this, uh, still, he knows he can't really take on um, anyone, uh, any of the Saiyans, so he just kind of, like, does his own thing, whatever. Um, but meanwhile, we're going to focus right now on Vegeta. Right now, Vegeta's recovering. He wakes up in the pod, and then, you know, he, you know, <laughs> tell me, what is your favorite organ? Oh, what a strange question, but if I have to say, it's probably my liver. Ah! It's the simple things in life. Now, he doesn't have that initial, first off, his power level is around 24,000. We know that. Doesn't have that initial confrontation, though, with Queen. I think he's still kind of processing what he's going to do, because... He remembers that Raditz got brought back, and in, I do think like the idea of the Dragon Balls did get brought up, but it was it was only briefly, and it was something that Vegeta really wasn't focusing on at the time because he was more focused on just you know kicking their ass and you know that'd be it. Uh, unfortunately, that didn't go about very well. For, didn't go about very well for him. But he's thinking about it now, as like the Dragon Balls. I I could if I could get those Dragon Balls. I could have any wish I want. Yes, that's it. Where I can go back to Earth as I am now, even with my enhance, even with my recovery, even with my new strength, I'd still be no match for the bastards. Ugh. And then he thinks on it again. He says, "Wait, there was another one there, the green one. What was he? he? I know, I know, I'd seen his race before. What was he? Namakian, Name, Namekian. What, what was it? Namekian, Namekian. That's it. The Namekians. They." I think basically what happens is Vegeta remembers that the Namekians created the Dragon Balls. He can go to Namek. Now, here's the thing. I don't think Frieza at this point knows about the Dragon Balls. Because, um, it, because they found out, I think, through Vegeta's scouter and all that, and all that, through some information. But the problem is the scouters got blown up pretty quick. And I imagine that the Dragon Ball comment was really brief. Um, that, but Vegeta still basically... Because Vegeta would be reliving the... Or re recollecting the entire scenario through his head. So I was like, that's it. I'll go for the Navic to find the Dragon Balls. Uh, and then basically he goes to get one more scouter. Runs into the queen. He's like, uh, it's like oh, Vegeta. How are you? He's like, whatever. Go, where are you going, Vegeta? I'm going to plow your mother. So I got some crap in my glasses. Uh, so that we know, you know, we reproduce asexually. Gross. Um, so, yeah, nothing so nothing comes about the Queen thing. I think Queen just doesn't really care about Vegeta that much. Uh, I mean, he wanted to show him up because he thought he was just as strong as Vegeta, so he might be able to beat Vegeta. Turns out that's not the case. But Vegeta goes to Namek, and there's no one there. Like, Frieza's not there. No one there. Frieza's busy. They, Frieza and the gang don't know about the Dragon Balls, so Vegeta just goes about looking for the Dragon Balls, uh, slaughtering villagers, and then he finally, I think he get. I honestly, what happens is I think he does go all the way and goes to Guru and gets that one Dragon Ball, the, the one star, I think he had the one star, didn't he? Uh, basically, like, all right, so, <laughs> um, I'm here for your Dragon Ball. Now you can either give it quietly, or this can get loud, and quite frankly... It's been pretty loud today. I'd actually appreciate some peace and quiet. But then again, I do like it when things get rough. So it's your choice, great man. As he's talking to Nail and Guru, I think, because I think he kind of does the freeze thing and blows open the door. It's like, oh my god! Why is he so fat? 
Say, oh, hello, I'm super awesome, call me Guru, and I'm the one not judging you by your appearance. Uh, Lord, Lord Guru, I think this is the guy who's been slaughtering our people and stealing our Dragon Balls. Oh, uh, no. Kick his ass. Right, Lord Guru. Oh, do you really think you can pull And then Nail just, frankly, shoves a arm straight through him. Because Nail's power was around twenty, it was around forty-two thousand, whereas Vegeta's is only around twenty-four thousand. Nail is almost twice as strong as Vegeta, and Vegeta got his ass handed to him by a Zarbon transformed at level to twenty-four thousand, twenty-eight thousand versus twenty-four. So if Zarbon transformed at only four thousand more, could kick his ass like that, I'm pretty certain Nail could run him through, and it would be done. Just go oh, and just. Yeah, Vegeta's just, uh, what? And he can kind of briefly sense Nail's power, because he can do that. Just, ah, uh, uh, no, I don't believe it. I, I can't, I like this. He tries to blast it, like, nope. Ah! And then just, he's like, good, he's like, it, good riddance. And then, bah, blast him with the mouth laser that Namekians seem to be able to do. And then Vegeta's dead. <laughs> so... Yeah, where are we going with this now? Um, well, um, they use the Dragon Balls to wish back the Namekians. Um, and now what happens? Well, what actually unfortunately happens is, uh, they are able to track, Frieza and the others do track where Vegeta went. So, he went to Namek. Why would he go to Namek? There's not much there, it's just a back of the planet. Got good got nice scenery, but still, maybe there was something of maybe there was something, or, uh, maybe there was something of value. I know, maybe, maybe he could have found something that gave him immortality or something. Oh, that's just silly. Oh, well, let's pay a visit and see what the deal was. So, ah, hello there, my name is Lord Freezer. I'm the one who pretty much rules everything, so I was just wondering, I had an associate here, maybe you knew, name's Vegeta. But my height, well, my height with the hair, uh, and the basically said, "Oh yeah, that guy. Uh, he came here and uh, he, he came here and tried to uh, you know mess with our people, so we killed him." And they're just, "Oh, you killed Vegeta? Well, I must admit that would be a feat you could put up." Uh, so I was like, "So you must be quite impressive then." Tell me, do you need a job? After all, now that, now that unfortunately Vegeta and Nappa are dead, I am in the need of a few new recruits. Um, not really in the mood for it. No, who are they? I I really don't know, although one of them is extremely powerful, Lord, uh, Lord Guru. Oh, well, Nail, please welcome them in then. Hello, I am a super awesome Kami Guru. That, obviously no one has talked about Kami, but I think he would just take that name because screw it, Dragon Ball Z Bridge is awesome. Um, hello, I am super awesome Kami Guru. Um, yes, well, um, I'm not certain why you're so fat, but, yes, um, seems your associate killed an associate of mine. I was hoping to maybe, uh, take him as a, as a, uh, successor to him. Oh, no, um, now, obviously, we're going a little bit with the abridged guru in terms of how he's talking, but at the same time, guru's like, I'm afraid Nero must stay. Hey, for he is he is the one who uh, guards me and protects me. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, but I'm so. But what happens? Uh, what happens if I were to maybe slaughter a few of your people, your men? Uh, is it, what is it? You you uh, what is it? Oh no, it's up to you, now, Nail. Uh, Nail, was it? I see, you seem quite powerful indeed. And truth be told, Nail would be the strongest guy he'd have at his disposal. Save Captain Ginyu, Jace, and I think Burner. Because he's stronger than... We know he's actually stronger than Raccoon power level-wise. Like, not by much, but he is stronger. Um, and he'd be stronger than Goldo. I think I think Jace and Burner are a little bit stronger than him, though. Because uh, Ginyu said it'd take about a power level of 60,000 to beat all of them. Um, save for Ginyu himself. So apart from Ginyu and maybe Burner and Jace, Nail would be the strongest guy he'd have at his disposal. Um, so tell me, Nail, uh, Nail, it's your choice. You could have a nice job working for me and even save your little planet. Or we could blow it up. <laughs> and unfortunately, Nail kind of gets put in by because he can tell. He just, he'll die regardless and then his planet's going to die. 
Uh, so I was like, yeah, Lord Guru, I now do what he says. Lord Guru, our people, the safety of our people are paramount now. If you, if he promises not to hurt them, then go. Do what he says. Uh, Lord Guru, I promise you now, because <coughs> Guru is on his deathbed, but he's now making a browser. I will be here when you return. Guru, you, Lord Guru, you, you don't have much time left, though. I was like, I promise you, I will be. Now, here's the thing. It's heavily implied that Guru unlocked Nail's potential. That Because when you look at other warrior Namekians, uh, that, they were around 3,000, according to the scouters. But Nail's power is around 42,000, which is highly unusual. Um, so it's implied that he has a potential unlocked by Guru. But we don't know that for certain. Because, I mean, look at Piccolo. Piccolo never had his potential unlocked. So, and Piccolo is, uh, we know exactly how strong Piccolo got even before he fused with Nail. So, you could make an argument that Nail didn't get his power unlocked. And for the sake of this video, I'm going to say he did not. <laughs> so I was like, wait, Nail, a parting gift for you. Uh, what are you doing? Just instilling wisdom and faith in him, and that things will be okay. What he's really doing is unlocking Nail's hidden potential. Now, the hidden potential lock is always around an eight times multiplier, give or take, and then it's all based on whoever, whatever your potential is beyond that. Um, so it's so Nail's power suppressing it, mind, because they're not, um, they're not, they don't have their scouters to train on him right now. Um, and he can suppress his power, too. We know Nail had to power up before he fought Frieza. And so that would put, at times 8, times 4, 316,000 right from the get. And then I'm going to assume that after the times 8, he probably would have gotten, I don't know. See, after that, it's a little difficult because the only ones we really have to go off for this are Gohan and uh, Krillin. Quillen's multiplier overall is around 42, whereas Gohan's was around, ooh, uh, like 100-something, 100 133. We know it was all said and done where they ended up, not including Zenkai's for Gohan. So the question becomes, where does Nail end up? I'm going to say he's, because he's a Namekian and not human, he has more potential than, say, Krillin does, but he ultimately is nowhere near as much as Gohan. So let's just put it at even 50 is where Nail's power is going to end up. Um, and Nail's power, you know, so, and Nail knows this. He knows that not just the initial release, but it will continue to grow for a certain amount of time. So he, he's going to basically just wait out Frieza and the others, train up a bit, and then try to wreak his revenge, or try to basically take them all out. Basically, though, what he does, though, because he knows how to keep his power level suppressed, he still keeps it around 42, maybe even, 50. let's say he keeps it at 50. Uh, and Frieza even says, my, my, you are an impressive specimen. I really lucked out today, didn't I, Zabon and Adoya? I'm so happy, I think I'll actually honor that promise and not kill your planet. I'll just sell it to the highest bidder. It's like, uh, yes, Lord Frieza, thank you. Oh, and you have good manners. Much better than, much better than Napa or Vegeta. This is going to be a good little relationship. Oh, I so look forward to it. So, yeah. Now, again, power-wise, where's Nail going to cap out just by his uh, power release? 50 times 40? I mean, you can do the math. That's going to be right around a little 2.1 million. And that's not getting any extra training in, which he probably will do. So, when it's all said and done, we'll cap Nail out around 4 million. I think that's a reasonable number. Anyway, though... Back at the back at the homestead, uh, Raditz and Amaze and Go Kakarot, they're all just you know talking about and Z Fires all talking things over, living their lives. Raditz is at the moment living with Kakarot. He is, uh, and you know what? He's actually getting a nice little. He's actually kind of enjoying his time on Earth for what it is. Yes, it's peaceful. Yes, there's not much uh, for him to do. He's really as a job. He's helping them with ra or farming radishes. That's what Goku did. Um, He's, you know, he can tell that, you know, he still gets to train with his the siblings. He's actually got a good relationship. He actually can respect the individuals like Roshi and Gohan for their years of experience. But Red's actually really enjoying his time on Earth. That, however, doesn't mean they don't keep training. Uh, they keep training because 
Rad is flat out said, it's like Frieza will dwarfs all of them. And you know, so they keep up their training. Now between I'm trying to remember how much time had passed. Let's go about two years before Trunk shows up. So um, between those two years, what exactly happens? Well, Gohan goes from age, I want to say it was, we had him at age two. He's about, I think, at age five at this point. Uh, yeah, because another year had passed. Had another two on there. So he's about at age five. So he's about where we actually see him in the series uh, when we meet him up with him. And yeah, he still has that potential. He maybe even gets to like, uh, train a little bit with his dad because uh, Chi-Chi is a little bit more lenient, um, or a little bit more easygoing on the whole subject of him fighting, because Maze was one to help convince her that he can do both. It's not that, that it's not that hard. Um, so, you know, go on, go on is still pretty, go on is probably much a non-player in this, but he's still, you know, stronger than any normal person on the planet. Um, like his powers are probably somewhere in the 2000 to 3000 range, thanks to some training, but it's like training. It's more like bonding with his dad. Uh, Goku, Raditz, uh, Maze. Maze is probably at an even 100,000. Raditz is easily probably pu pushing like the 300,000. And, uh, Kakarot is probably pushing the 500,000. Again, you factor in, t uh, you know, grade 8 forms and all that, they get into some pretty big power levels. Um, but more or less, what happens, uh, with Trunks showing up? Well, Trunks shows up at the, uh, at the wasteland and, um, Nothing's going on. There's no Frieza. Wait, th this can't be right. Like, I know I got the timeline. The timeline, right? He checks the time. This is the right time. It's the right day. Where is everyone? And his power's suppressed, and no one's thinking anything of him. Um, Vegeta's dead. Um, uh, and, you know, wait, wait, where exactly is Frieza? Cut to bodies littered in space, and a pod going back, going back, oh, no, no you have returned. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord Guru, I have. You, you saved, you kept us safe. You did what you had to do. And I appreciate it. I appreciate everything you've done. What happened? Cut over to the training that Nail, after Nail did. It's like, yeah, I'm not where you go. Oh, what's happened to our lovely relationship, Nail? I thought we were besties. Obviously, he's being sarcastic with this. I was like, yeah, no, no besties. You threatened my plan to blow up my planet. Why the hell would I ever want to work for someone like you? Like, oh, well, uh, it's such a shame. You can never find good help anymore. They can you, Zabon or Doya? Now, I actually, here's the thing. Did they ever train? Because they already had in pretty innately high powers, all things considered. So let's assume they did do some training. Um, the Doria would probably be, because the Doria was around 20,000. Doria, let's put him at 30, and Zarbon, when he's fully transformed, is at 40. So they have gotten some training. And even the Ginyu was that, oh, uh, yes, it does seem like they are, um, does seem like he's uh, quite the uh, ungrateful one, doesn't he, Lord Freezer? Indeed. Oh, and uh, here I was hoping for such a good relationship with our new one. He had such potential. Ah, alas, Zarbon, Doria, you know what to do. <clears throat> so, I was like, Oh yes, we're gonna trust us. We know how strong you got, but between the two, but between the two of us, there's no way you're gonna. And then Nail just laserizes. Ah! Oh dear. Well, and, and Nail's not even going at full power right now. His power's suppressed. He's probably only, but he's probably right around Frieza's power level. They try to get the scourge going. Scourge blow up. It's like, my God, Lord Frieza, I, I don't know what his, how strong his power level is, but he's almost as strong as you. You, you're joking, right? And I'm making I'm as strong as I am. You must be, you can't be serious. Boys, boys, would you like to test that theory? Not really. And he just kills Gold as a response. <laughs> you want to rephrase that? Uh, yes, Lord Frieza. And then, you know, it comes in and they'll just boom, 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 do it. you before he even changes. Boom, and he just takes out Ginyu. As it, I see I have to get my hands dirty. Very well, Green. Greens. Very well, you slug. So, how should we do this? Should I come at you? Should I, you come at me? Shall we all? Should we come together? Ooh, at the same time. Little alley card there for you. Oh, you'll come. They always come. I'm again. I'm going full alley card. Helsing a bridge here. Oh, you'll come. They always come. A oh, god. 
You know what? It's well, those are sorry to digress, but you think Team Four Star can't do any better than DBZ or Bridge, and then they give us Hellstringer Bridge, which was freaking awesome. So yeah. Anyway, Frieza just try, and they go toe to toe for a while. Frieza realizes that oh, you are, you are nearly as strong as I am. But, you must need to know a little secret, Namekian, I don't- This isn't even my final form. And I- Behold, this is a, just a taste of my true power. Boom! And he just, just grabs him by the horns, knees him straight, and he just rips the horns out and just stabs him in the neck. Just, and, now here's the thing. The scouters have never been able to pick up a power level of, say- a million, as far as we know. They usually break right around you get to Frieza's first form level. <coughs> or Vegeta when he fought Frieza's level. But Frieza knew his power level was a million in that form, which means he had to have had technology that could actually measure his power level. So, the ship is probably reading... Uh, he's probably able to uh, vocally ask the ship to give a reading. And, sure enough, his power is a little over one million. Nail right now is over twice that. Again, still not going at full power. It's over two million. Just bitch smacking for a, a, um, freezer around. Just boom, boom, boom. Just and and he's not messing around either. He's going for the killing blows. And you know, Freeze is strong enough that he can survive a couple of them or uh, hold them off. He's got a tail that you know whaps nail. That's like ugh. transforms again into his third form. And it's like no, it's not going to be enough. I have to go into my final form. And he goes into his final form. Nail powers up all the way. He's like, now Namek, he wants you, and he's, and he's, he's, he's stronger than Frieza at this point, so he's just, it's like, and boom, he's like, nah, I think this is over, and they just point blank, blasts him in the face, because he's got him face to face, and Frieza's about to try to death him, and he actually does, and he's, and he opens his mouth, and Frieza just realizes, oh, crap, baskets, boom, just blasts the whole strength from Frieza's head, like, all of his power in that one blast, gone um so yeah and afterwards he just takes a pod blows up the ship from space and king cole just wondering where why isn't freezer reported in lately um so yeah <laughs> so he goes back to guru and like that's what happened holy crap now yeah, that was brutal and awesome uh little guru i'm sorry it took us so long me so long thank you for Staying, being with us long enough for me to say goodbye. This is true now. Do not fret, though. And I have already passed my powers over to... Again, I can't remember the other Elder Nekamekin's name, but he passed them on to him. The, the, the Dragon Balls shall live on. I shall live on through him. And I shall live on through you as well. <coughs> goodbye. My son. And then, you know, not actually like some, but in the sense that... And Neil actually is shedding some tears, and he fades away, and... Very sad, but, you know, like, Nail, Nail fulfilled what he had to do with protecting his people. Um, so, yeah, cut back to Trunks out. What, what happened? And he's like, huh, well, I, I, I guess I'll go look for Goku then. Uh, you know, he flies off, and eventually, you know, he finds, oh, Goku, there, he, where is he? Like, Capsule Corp? Is, is he at home? And so, yeah, oh, Goku, there you are. Uh, Goku? And he's like, what, what Goku, it's... Uh, yeah, um, you're Goku, right? Uh, sorry, my name's Kakarot. Uh, I never knew, I don't know Goku. This is my sister Maze and my brother Raditz. Wait, Raditz is still left? Oh, crap, baskets. So, that's where we're gonna leave part five of What If Goku Had a Sister, with, um, Trunks realizing that, oh, Multiverse Theory's a bitch. <laughs> Till then, though, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know if there are new at some point. Ideas for who would win, Star Wars, Spirit, Magic, What If, anything I do on the channel, put that in the comments below as well. I'll get to that at some point. Uh, so that's going to be all the videos for today. i got nothing else. Um, if, for those of you who haven't watched my box office report video yet, if you don't watch them, that's fine. Not a lot of people watch them, but I love doing them. Um, you'll notice I've got some new video skills going on here. I've got some skills that I'm going to be trying out throughout the week. Um, so... Keep your eyes out for the newly updated versions of videos. Uh, well, not updated versions, but newly done. Let me put it this way. The reactions are coming back. So keep your eyes out for those. Until then, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.